Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one I have a very small incremental update to the uh, Android on Raspberry Pi builds but this one will actually um, make a lot of people happy so what I've done is actually use the fake KMS trick to uh, make the Raspberry Pi build a lot more compatible with uh, displays so a lot of you had the blank screen issue but that is now um, sort of solved because um, we are using fake KMS so this is just an uh, experimental kind of a build I just wanted to try it out so what uh, I am running right now is on a VGA only display and it is running through a VGA to HDMI converter so uh, you know this is kind of the worst case scenario that I mostly see on the internet people complaining about that it doesn't work with converters and stuff so this time it is uh, it is also working on the uh, AV port and also on pure uh, HDMI now I have not had many configurations to check because I only have a limited number of monitors at home but what I'd really like you to do is go ahead and test it out now uh, since we are using fake KMS that means we can adjust the, uh, the resolution the old school way uh, using the config.txt now all these modifications will be listed in uh, the uh, download page linked in the description of this very video um, so right now I'm running Android TV I also have the download link for uh, the regular Android tablet build with the uh, fake KMS and as you can see that is running on a uh, tiny um, RCA uh, monitor or screen kind of a thing and that also works fairly well so again this is sort of experimental I'm still getting some uh, flickering issues now if you want to get rid of the flickering issues or uh, if the previous builds worked on uh, your device and are not working on anymore and you are getting a blank display uh, go ahead and again look into the description there is a lot of things that you can configure and try it out so um, thank you so much for watching again the link will be in the description and I will see you all in the next one